2022 Nissan Ariya. Nissan is expanding its line of electric vehicles with the 2022 Ariya SUV, which will go on sale in the US in 2021. The Ariya will join the Leaf hatchback in the Nissan showroom and will offer up to 300 miles of driving range, which beats the Leaf's maximum of 226. The Ariya's design represents a shift from the current sharp, angular lines seen on many of Nissan's vehicles. The low, wide stance of the Ariya differentiates it from the Rogue and gives it a sportier look. Two different battery sizes will be offered, a 63.0-KWH battery is standard, and a larger 87.0-KWH pack is optional, as well as either front or all-wheel drive. A host of driver assistance features, infotainment tech, and convenience items will be included here, helping the 2022 Ariya compete with similarly sized EV crossovers, such as the Tesla Model Y and Hyundai Kona Electric. What's new for 2022? The Ariya is an all-new vehicle for Nissan. It features Nissan's new semi-autonomous driving system, ProPilot 2.0, which debuted on the Japanese market Nissan Skyline sedan. The Ariya is said to deliver up to 300 miles of driving range, but only when equipped with the optional dual front, rear motor drive configuration and the larger 87.0-KWH battery pack. Engine, transmission, and performance. Unlike the Leaf, which comes only with front-wheel drive, Nissan is pulling from features developed in other cars, including the GTR Sports Cars Torque Split System, to offer optional all-wheel drive via a dual-front, rear electric motor configuration. We estimate that the all-wheel drive area will zip from 0 to 60 miles per hour in less than 5.0 seconds, a feat that is similar to higher-end electric vehicles. The base front-wheel drive model will likely be slower, but we still expect it to offer peppy acceleration that's a characteristic of EV powertrains. Range, charging, and battery life Nissan says the Ariya offers up to 300 miles of driving range per charge, and if that turns out to be true, it would be quite the step up from the Leaf's maximum range of 226 miles. Similarly sized vehicles include Jaguars I-Pace and Audi's e-tron, which have 234 and 204 miles of range, respectively. Key rivals from Tesla offer claimed ranges of over 300 miles. The Ariya will be capable of charging at home on 110 or 240 volt outlets as well as at public charging stations and even DC fast charging ports. Fuel economy and real-world MPG EPA fuel economy estimates aren't yet available for the Ariya, nor has Nissan released any claimed MPG figures. When the Ariya gets closer to launch, that information will likely be available. We also hope to test the Ariya ourselves on our 200-mile highway route, which allows us to evaluate its real-world efficiency. For more information about the Ariya's fuel economy, visit the EPA's website. Interior, Comfort, and Cargo The Ariya's interior looks futuristic and minimal. Nissan appears to have discarded every button possible in pursuit of a smooth dashboard that favors a sleek look to match the design of the exterior. Despite Nissan's claim that the Ariya's cabin is unlike a traditional automotive interior, its minimalistic theme appears to be its sole unique trait. Not that the cabin doesn't look like a nice place to spend time. A flat, low floor is said to increase the spacious feeling inside, and Nissan has incorporated its comfy zero-gravity seats into the design. Infotainment and connectivity Nissan has also divulged details about the infotainment system and connectivity features, and it looks quite nice. Dual 12.3-inch displays serve as both the digital gauge cluster and the infotainment screen. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and in-dash navigation should all be standard features. The Aria concept that was shown in 2019 had a feature that allowed the car to sync with the schedule of the driver, so it can preheat or pre-cool the interior while it's parked and charging, and therefore not draw on the power from the battery. The concept also showed off technology that would allow the driver to use their phone to park the Aria automatically from a nearby location using ProPilot's Remote Park, a system similar to Tesla's Smart Summon feature. Nissan hasn't said yet if these features will make it to the production model. Safety and driver assistance features the Aria will feature ProPilot 2.0, Nissan's second generation of the ProPilot semi-autonomous technology, as an optional feature. The system allows drivers to remove their hands from the wheel in certain driving scenarios. Although we haven't tested this new setup, we like the original ProPilot system when we used it in 2017, and if that's any indication of how version 2.0 will perform, our expectations are high. For more information about the Aria's crash test results, visit the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration NHTSA, and Insurance Institute for Highway Safety IIHS, websites. Key safety features include Standard automated emergency braking with pedestrian detection Standard lane departure warning with lane keeping assist Available adaptive cruise control with semi-autonomous driving mode warranty and maintenance coverage We predict the Aria will come with the same basic warranty package as the Leaf when it goes on sale. 
That warranty should include a competitive bumper-to-bumper -bumper policy as well as battery protection that stretches over 8 years or 100,000 miles. Limited warranty covers 3 years or 36,000 miles powertrain warranty covers 5 years or 60,000 miles battery warranty covers 8 years or 100,000 miles no complimentary scheduled maintenance. Pricing and which one to buy. 63.0-KWH battery $40,000 est. 87.0-KWH battery $45,000 est. Nissan hasn't released pricing for the longer range 87.0-KWH model, but the base version with the smaller battery pack will start around $40,000. That puts it above the Leaf and other affordable EVs but under the base price of the Model Y wear of the mindset that to successfully switch from gasoline to electricity, range is key, and if our estimation on price is correct, the larger battery pack could be a great value.